Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. So in previous tutorial we have added some functionality to our zombie. So in today tutorial what we will do, we can't jump, I'm pressing the space bar but uh, we can't jump and we can't sprint either. And by default I am in the, the sprint mode and our zombie speed is kind of equivalent to mine, right? So we will modify that. So let's do it. So I want my character to run just for five seconds. And okay, so first thing first, we will add the jump functionality. So on look, just duplicate this instead of I A look, control D, it will be I A jump. So jump uh, I think trigger will also work and jump functionality uh, it is in our parent class if I'm not wrong so if we will do it like this it should work so let's check compile okay we haven't defined our IA jump here we can also do that in world setting go to that character here we can do that too so we'll duplicate uh, we already have jump just plug it here compile and save okay now I can jump awesome so just to be uh, in a streamline I a jump will initialize it uh, right click copy reference and we'll paste it here we are doing it this way because let's imagine if we are reparenting it to some other blueprint we don't have to you know put that binding again in the blueprint as it will come from C++ only so this is perfect next is for that uh, sprint part I will again control D will start again control D and finished no uh, start completed and instead of I a jump it will be sprint sprint copy paste it and we have to define so on sprint start on sprint pressed on sprint released there are two variants we can use alt enter there are two variants I can use this f input action value so I can use just one function and we can decode the value like uh, is it up or it, is it true or false but I want them to be separate so I will do it this way I am not using okay I won't use this one parameterized one so alt enter generate definition by declaration just press ok so on sprint we what we do want to do so on sprint what I want I will make the character walk speed to 600 and by default I will change my character speed to 300 so if you see in the character base the character movement speed is uh, 600 right so what we will do uh, by default I will set it 300 so get character movement max fox speed is equals to we will define those two values in public so we can update them so edit anywhere 
default sprint speed is equals to 600 load again default walk speed and it will be 300 perfect so default walk speed this will be initialized we can also update it here 300 it's the max fox speed and what else actually this is perfect mm, here we will set it like default uh, get character movement not walk speed when we are sprint we are pressing sprint we do want it to be default sprint speed that means 600 we'll copy that line we'll paste it here and here whenever we will release it we will make it default walk speed but this is one crux so i don't want like when we are pressing shift it is running by default and it is running indefinitely because it is not possible for human right so we will use some uh maybe some timer so it will run for 5 or 10 seconds or whatever time we will define so what we will do first we will declare some variables so in private I will define like uh, current sprint allow time by default uh, okay and float or end actually and sprint allow time by default I will keep it to 10 second or maybe 5 second we will initialize this uh, to sprint allow time Control. and this will be sprint not spring I'm making the same mistake again and again not sure why perfect okay perfect so uh, what we will check if the current sprint allowed time is less than or equals to zero then I will just return because I cannot sprint anymore so we will just return else we will set it to the default sprint now we will define one more variable if I am sprinting or not so be sprint by default it will be false so be sprint controller uh, I will actually it should be like be sprinting it will make more sense printing is equals to true and now uh, we will define a timer so get world time manager set timer and here we need to insert the F timer handler so we will define that to F timer handler uh, sprint cool of timer handle so sprint cool of timer handle comma here we need to provide the the uh, function we need to provide the function address so one way is like we can define f timer delegate uh, goal of delegate and we will bind this to uh, maybe u function and we haven't defined the u function name yet so let's do that uh, on sprint sprint 
cool down timer function your function void that function name called enter and this should work perfect now we will enter this delegate rate is one and if uh, whether you want to ha uh, do this timer in loop yes this okay so this should be it but before setting that I do want to check if it is valid or not so is print cool timer handler dot is valid if it is not valid then I want this to, to happen okay um, I'm not sure what the shortcut to shift line in right up we'll check that so this is done maybe we can shift it here okay so as soon as we have this we have defined this timer handler it will continue you know loop this function so let's imagine I press this button for the first time it will increase the sprint it will in set this piece printing to true and it will turn on the timer so in this timer what we will do I will check if I am sprinting be sprinting and current sprint allowed time is greater than zero what I will do I will decrease my current time right so current sprint allowed time minus minus so I'm decreasing my time if current sprint allowed time is equals to zero and just to be in safe side so less than equals to zero and I am not and I am sprinting what I will do I will and the sprint so on sprint released I will call this function uh, okay and next thing if I am not sprinting and the time so I will release the key automatically I am triggering it right uh, what else now if current sprint allowed time is less than sprint cool of sorry allowed time nope allowed time sprint allowed time if it is less than uh, the sprint allowed time so uh, now I am not running so let's imagine so if I am not running be sprinting if I am not running that means be sprinting is false okay so this is true at the left hand side I like the current allowed time is less than because this is the max peak right so what I will do I will increase the current sprint allowed time perfect last condition is if current sprint allowed time is greater than or equal to sprint allowed time sprint allowed time and I am not running then I will clear the timer so get world time manager dot clear timer and here we have to apply the handles handle uh, timer handler sprint curve of timer handler perfect so let's reiterate this here it will be sprint not sprint copy paste it here let me go to its definition also paste perfect so uh, let's imagine if I am I'm just uh, I just press the button so I will start walking right I will I will start sprinting and the allowed sprinting uh, time is 5 and I I have I kept my button pressed so after five seconds 
if I am sprinting and allowed time is greater than zero it, it, it is continuously decreasing my time right so for by default it was 5 it will become 4 3 2 1 as soon as it will become 0 then this condition will be false and this condition will be true right so here I have I am pressing this printing button and okay one more thing here as soon as I'm releasing so B is printing will be false okay so B sprinting is true and my allowed time is less than or equals to zero so I, I will release the key I'm just simulating this function right I'm not releasing the key but still I am in uh, idle state now so as soon as I am idle so now my current spring allowed time is less than allowed time correct because here it was zero so this condition is true and I am not sprinting like I am not running because it was already released so now it will add on that sprint time so if it is greater than zero that means I can again run right so now I can again press my sprinting key so everything seems fine here but let me check if we do have the sprint button no so control D instead of jump I will use sprint uh, will add that sprint key here press add sprint and we will use shift key left shift press save and here next in that link on sprint copy reference we'll duplicate it we'll paste the path first control V and it is for the sprint the so sprint perfect compile I think it should work fine uh, there's one more thing actually okay let me check if input of sprint is printing is there it is there yes now I am walking and pressing shift I'm running fast now I'm slow again one two three four five now I'm slow again I am letting go my boot key again I'm pressing again I am able to run but after some time it is decreasing my speed you can sense it and just to be in the visual state uh, let's do our uh, let, let, let's print some value here so in sprint actually in cooldown let me print the value I am printing the current sprint in allowed time by default it was 5 so okay successful pressing shift left hand side it is saying 4 3 2 1 as soon as I'm hitting 1 now it automatically turned me into the walking mode again I'm pressing again it is decreasing I let it go it is increasing again so this is working as intended so this was the today's tutorial uh, I hope you understand the concept of cool uh, like uh, sprinting cool down feature uh, and you are able to figure it how, how we can implement it so this was it for today I hope you learned something this was it thank you and have a nice day do subscribe the video if you are learning something if you have question do comment it below uh, I will try my best to sort the things out as soon as possible thank you and have a nice day bye bye